Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you for coming to this talk. Uh, the title of this talk is uh, Initial Analysis and Comparison of the Wave Equation and Asymptotic Prediction of a Receiver Experiment Adapt for One Wave Wave Predict Propagation Waves. Uh, first, uh, let me uh, talk about the uh, motivation. Uh, in the last presentation, a uh, relationship between a wave equation migration and, uh, algorithm and its corresponding asymptotic form uh, is, was examined in terms of the uh, amplitude information at the image. The asymptotic form follows from a stationary phase approximation po performed on the operator that predicts the receiver and the source experiment at depth. And in this talk, uh, we examine uh, in isolation the prediction of the receiver exper experiment at depth, and we compare first uh, the Green's theorem FK prediction, which is the wave method, and the second, the asymptotic output, its corresponding asymptotic output, and the third, the exact Kanyal Hoop solution. And uh, we are interested in understanding the lost source and the receiver experiment uh, at receiver depth and how that lost experiment uh, influences the receiver at depth calculation. And uh, in this, uh, uh, later in this test, we will also show the spectral uh, comparison. Spectrum comparison. Uh, first, uh, this is the outline of the talk. Uh, first, I would I'd like to remind you the theory of the wave equation prediction and its corresponding asymptotic form for one wave waves, and then followed by the, uh, the new numeric test, and in the end, there's a summary. First, uh, uh, the, the theory of the wave equation uh, prediction for one wave outgoing waves, following the work of Stolt, uh, Stolt Benson and Stolt Wiggelin. Uh, we assume an outgoing wave and a, a, a homogeneous medium. The procedure to uh, perform the wave equation prediction for one way outgoing waves is as follows. For a, a short gather uh, a D, X, G, Z, G, X, S, uh, T, uh, where the X, G, Z, G represents the receiver location, X, S, Z, S represents the source location, T represents time. Uh, then uh, we first Fourier transform on the um, x g and time. Uh, once we get the data in wave number Broca's domain, and to predict the, the uh, receiver at depth, and assuming an upgoing wave and a homogeneous wave, uh, homogeneous medium, uh, we apply a phase shift factor into the i k uh, z z minus z g, where the k z is defined uh, like this. And after that, we inverse Fourier transform on kg. Then we bring the data from the frequency domain back to the time domain. This uh, procedure basically follows the work of uh, this, this the reference here. And to get uh, an asymptotic form of the wave equation prediction for the one wave uh, upwind waves, uh, we uh, this is the expression for the uh, from the last slide. We rearrange the integral, and uh, here, uh, the, this is the integral on dkg. We apply the stationary phase approximation on this integral on kg, dkg, and the corresponding, uh, uh, I'm sorry, here is uh, uh, kg hat. The corresponding stationary point uh, kg is this, and the corresponding uh, kz hat is this ex expression, and rg is defined like this. So this expression underlined in the uh, red red line uh, is the approximation of this expression, and in this uh, again this the the superscript a represents the prediction from the asymptotic form, and the superscript the w represents the prediction from the wave form, and uh, uh, by applying this asymptotic approximation, we. Uh, Notice that uh, the original nonlinear relationship between the kz and omega now becomes the uh, linear relationship between the kz and omega. Uh, in the later the, ta the numerical test, uh, we will compare this uh, results and this results from uh, with the exact kanyan hoop method, the uh, solution. So this uh, the numerical test. Uh, this is uh, uh, this picture shows the model. Uh, which is the one reflector at uh, the reflector depth that is equal to 2,000 meters. The velocity is 2,000 meters per second over 1,000 meters per second. And the source uh, is in the middle. 
and the receiver is uh, from minus 20,000 meter to positive 20,000 meter. The receiver uh, interval is four meters, uh, and the maximum uh, recording time is five seconds, and the time sampling is one millisecond. And uh, we use the Kamiata hoop method, and based on this model to generate the data, uh, at the ZG equal to 400 meters as the input. And again, this is the input data at ZG equal to 400 meters. And what we calculate both uh, this uh, from the wave method and its uh, uh, corresponding asymptotic form is at depth Z equal to 600. And like we said, we also compare the spectrum content we are uh, like uh, the time domain and the surface domain. And with the cap uh, calculation, we compare this uh, with this calculation, uh, this is the exact Kamiat uh, hoop solution at z equal to 600, and this is the wave prediction, wave method prediction. This is its corresponding asymptotic uh, prediction. This is a time domain and a uh, focus domain, and we compare two traces. One trace is at uh, zero meter offset, the other is at uh, 2,000 meter offset. Here, uh, let's first uh, look at the uh, comparison at the zero meter offset. Uh, the black line uh, represents the uh, Kanyad hoop exact data, and the, the, green, uh, the blue line represents the uh, prediction results from the wave uh, method, and the red line represents its corresponding asymptotic uh, results. Here we see uh, at uh, the, this two part, the wave prediction results match well, but uh, the asymptotic results. And let's uh, zoom in this middle part to see the detail. Here, see the wave uh, predict uh, well and not the asymptotic. Uh, now let's uh, look at the frequency. Uh, frequency. Uh, here, uh, at the high end, uh, this uh, wave method and its corresponding asymptotic uh, matches well with the Kanyar group exact data. However, notice uh, in the uh, low end, there's a big difference. To zoom in that the side, we see the frequency from zero to 20 hertz. See, uh, again, uh, the black line represents the exact Kanyat hoop data, and the uh, blue line represents the uh, results from the wave, and the red represents the results from the asymptotic. You can see, uh, at the low end, the, the wave approximate uh, can predict uh, well, however, the asymptotic goes directly down to there. Now, uh, let's compare the trace at the 2,000 meters. Again, uh, this is a time domain comparison. Then this uh, tail part, the wave to, uh, to predicts better results. Let's zoom in the middle to see the detail. Next, uh, we compare in the frequency domain. Again, uh, uh, in the high end, the uh, wave and the asymptotic uh, predicts well, and how the, the big difference in the low end. Let's zoom in the low end to see the difference. Okay. Similar like in the zero offset trace, the, the prediction from the asymptotic is directly go down there at the low end. So, uh, in the end of the uh, summary, uh, uh, the difference in the spectrum at the low end has a dramatic impact on the subsurface imaging step and makes the asymptotic maturation method not an uh, approximate source and receiver coincident experiment at time equal to zero. Uh, I would like to thank our support for the support and encouragement. Thank you.